One of the newest ways of thinking about problem solving for me is um, something that my math professor would tell me. Um, he would say, don't be afraid to be stuck. And I think that a lot of the time when we are doing math and we get stuck, it's like sometimes it, it, it can be, a, you can feel like, wow, this is a reflection of me and my mathematical abilities. Wow, maybe I shouldn't be doing math. But really, a lot of the time, it's just an indication that you need to spend more time uh, doing the math or figuring out what the problem is exactly. If you haven't gotten stuck yet, then I mean, you probably will get stuck at some point. So being stuck is just a part of math and it's kind of learning how to, what to do when you are stuck is a really big, uh, a big part of being creative in math and being able to um, solve problems in the future. One example um, that I often use um, is um, I often try to solve problems um, both in like the traditional um, uh, algebraic way, but I also um, try to visualize problems um, in 2D and 3D space um, to solve them more visually. And so I think um, the more ways that you can figure out how to solve a problem, um, the more ways that you can eventually sort of like save in your toolbox and use um, later on to solve um, other problems. There's lots of different tools and resources, like apps and puzzle games that are going to help you think about problems in new ways and help develop that critical thinking that you need to be able to apply your skills to a lot of different areas. And sometimes even starting at the answer and working backwards through the problem can help you see a different way of getting to the answer. Students can combine new ways of thinking about problem solving by trying to look at it from different angles. Anytime you approach a problem, if you're just looking at it from your perspective, you're not going to get a holistic view of the solution space. So try to have perspectives and look at the problem from multiple angles to understand um, all the ways in which it could be viewed. The more holistically you view a problem, the more paths you look at, the more efficient and effectively you're going to be at solving it. <laughs>